So let's talk about um, using a credit card. Now, when we're talking about a credit card, we're talking about a an account from a bank in which you make a bunch of charges. And then at the end of the month, you get a statement with a balance that you have to pay. Uh, this is very different than a debit card. Debit card is you use a card where money is coming out of your bank directly. So we're talking about a credit card that carries a balance. So for credit card transactions, um, we can enter credit cards in different ways. Uh, one is we are not supposed to wait until the end of the month and enter all the transactions in a single bill. That's not how it works. We're supposed to enter transaction by transaction. So the way to do that is we go to enter credit card charges on the bottom right and we'll click on that. And let's say we went to, uh, let's say Home Depot. So here where it says purchase from, then I'm gonna uh, create my vendor's name. Um, if it's not ready on my on my vendor list, create that as a vendor. And let's say I spent $45. And then here I can put it to job expenses or job materials, whatever the expense category may be. So it's really that simple. Now up here in the top right, I choose which credit card I'm gonna pay with. And in, in many situations, let's say I have an American Express and there's multiple uh, users. So I may have sub accounts on that credit card or I just may have just one overall Visa credit card that I use. So we do transaction by transaction and at the end of the month we'll reconcile. Now the other option is to go into the register, which you could do it two ways. Once we can go into the list menu, chart of accounts, and then uh, scroll down until we find uh, the specific credit card. Let me find it, the credit card I'm trying to work with, let's say is uh, that one. And I can double click on that credit card and then I'm gonna be able to see a uh, register of every single transaction I made on it. Now, I can hit escape, escape, escape. I'm just gonna get into a blank screen here. And then I'm gonna hit Control R. So Control R, keyboard shortcut, R for the word register. And then from here, I'm gonna pick my credit card account. So those are sort of the, the, the two ways we could do that. So in the check register, or in the credit card register in this case, I can also enter uh, my Home Depot expenses directly from here. So I can just type vendor's name, hit tab, then put the dollar amount, hit tab, select the expense account, hit record. So whether you wanna do it transaction by transaction on the credit card charges screen, or if you wanna do it in the register, it's actually the exact same thing. Another way to get here is to click on the banking menu and go down to enter credit card charges. And that will get me straight into that window where I can enter the credit card charge. Now if there's a refund, so I went back and I returned whatever I bought, then I put that here under where it says refunds and credits. So you just have to make, make sure I click on refunds and credits. Notice the color changes a little bit, the title changes, just letting you know that it's sort of a different transaction altogether. So that's credit card charges. Now debit card charges are done with the right check function. So the exact same screen that I use to write checks, that's how I do debit card charges because the money's not coming from a credit card liability account that we're gonna pay later. This money's coming from our checking account, from our bank account. So therefore I have to use the write check feature because as I mentioned earlier, in QuickBooks, the write check feature is used for debit card, wire transfer, ACH, electronic payment, any way that money can come out of the bank. So let's say with my debit card, I went to Lowe's and create the vendor there. And then let's say I spent $86. And then I'll come down here and I'll put job materials, whatever it is. And then the way I know it's a debit card is I have to make sure that there's no uh, check number there. So I have to make sure I, I remove that check number. And like I mentioned before, I could put a D or I could put the word debit. Um, it's just a right check. It looks like a check in QuickBooks but the only way I'll know is by that, that particular label.